All right, guys, what is going on? It's your boy Guns here, and we definitely did not just record for seven minutes and not crash. <laughs> and joining me today is my boy, Yay Sengi. <laughs> What up, what up? Yeah, my boy Jason always, uh, he's like, say my name right. <laughs> you just accepted you it at this point you know now, right? right? I gave up, bro. It's been a, almost two years now. Fuck it. It is what it is. I'm Jason Guy now. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's definitely, like, even my wife makes, like, is, is, is um, like, laughs about it. Um, But, yeah, as you guys see, as you guys see in the background, let me show you guys here. I have the TFS banner there. But I have moved with baby guns over to TFS. And some of you guys, I know some of you guys may be wondering, why the hell would I move over to TFS, right? And for two reasons, right? One, I thought it'd be pretty cool to vibe out with my boy, Eye Sengate. <laughs> right? And uh, my boy Jake is there too. So I'm like, that's, that's pretty cool. Just vibe out with those guys. And two, it's the perfect freaking storyline, dude. TFS has the perfect mixture of hate and love. Do you guys not or what? Like 90% hate, but we take it. Yeah, we take it. <laughs> right, because you, you're going to have people that, you know, within TFS, right, that are going to be, you know, rooting, obviously, for each other. And the other people that are just going to be preying on the downfall of TFS. So I think it plays out for, like, the perfect benefit, you know? I benefit it. I benefit from my baby guns account finally being in a good alliance because I was in a dead kingdom forever. I'm not even kidding you, bro. I had an alliance named Guns. And then I'll just pour on warband so territory. Cool. <laughs> so cool, I would just pour on warband territory, bro. But yeah, bro, if you can tell us, bro, what what's up with TFS nowadays? What are you, what are you guys up to? Uh, so as you guys all know, TFS moved to server 40. Uh, we moved to server 40 and you know, trying to start our rebuild and our restructure. It's going pretty well so far. We have about 60 players. Uh, our average power is around 97 mil per player. So that's pretty good. Uh, all our players are active crackheads, just like you guns. You know, they're going to be staying up at all the time fighting with me. And that's, that's really where we're at right now. We're just going to keep building, keep growing, and slowly over time claw our way right back to the top where we belong. Yeah, definitely, bro. Freaking uh, every day on my streams. Why well, do I say every day? Because I don't stream every day. But the times that I am streaming, people are always like, what is TFS up to? Are they dead now? Uh, it's just very interesting how people are so interested in what, like, what other people are doing. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Don't worry about what TFS is doing. Um, but no, yeah, I definitely see what, you, what you're talking about with these 66 players. And I know um, from the get-go, people were probably like 66, but it's like, you guys could have had more. But as you said, you were you were very picky um, as to the players that you brought over. W what are some of like the main things that you guys were, were looking at as far as like a profile, right? Like if I'm a new player, what do I need to work on on my either profile or just me as a person to try to get recruited? So... Overall, what we're looking for is activity. I don't really care anymore about power. I'm not going to do the same mistakes I've done before and just recruit high power players. Uh, my whole goal now is to recruit as many active players, players who are going to be logging on every day, players where I ping uh, that it's time for war, that we have like 60, 70, 80, even 100 players in VC at a time, you know, just fighting it out, duking it out. Uh, another main aspect of what we look for when we're recruiting is if you could vibe with us, you know, uh, in the nicest words possible, uh, we don't want any snowflakes who are just going to be complaining all mm. the time or people who think their opinion is better than others and just causing friction within an alliance or people who bring drama along with them. Right. Uh, the whole goal of me being an R5 of me, even having my own alliance was always to build a community and build a place where everyone could come, hang out, play games together, not only Call of Dragons, but other games. And that that's what we're striving for is, you know, just to build a community where people could, you know, come home after a day of work, log on and just chill with their friends. Yeah, definitely. And based off our conversations that we've had before, you've mentioned to me that you felt like one of the biggest mistakes that you made as an R5 was mass recruiting. Can you go into that? That way, that, that way, other R5s that 
might find themselves in a similar position can look at this video and then find hopefully they don't find themselves in that position right because I, I don't wish that on any r5 i imagine that was a pretty fuck pretty damn stressful situation the whole tfs afs split but um what what did you learn from that mass from that mass recruitment so me personally well what happened was uh after the echo split mm. uh you know losing a bunch of great fighters a bunch of great players I basically panicked like straight up and I'm going to own that. And after panicking, uh, I over recruited. We reached out to multiple different players from all over, from many different servers, different alliances. And we just brought pretty much anyone we could. Once we saw that during that time, uh, Lilith had a little bug and didn't count power into the server and let you fill up however many players up to that 300 player mark. Right. Yeah, and uh, we brought in a shit ton of people, bro. I think it was like <laughs> 170 players or something into server 23, and that's after the the 5k gem migration, where we also brought in like a hundred something players before that, with RKT coming and a few other people from uh, the the current matchup we were in, and you know we expected a certain number of players to go inactive. Obviously, uh, we have to be realistic. With we're going to bring in X amount of players. We're not going to expect X amount of players by the end of the season to still be as active as they were. Right. Uh, however, the number of players that ended up being inactive was a shit ton higher than what we expected. Uh, just, you know, to put into like people's view, we our home kingdom was approximately 36 billion power. <laughs> which was like 16 billion power over the cap, right? Uh, more than 60% of that server was inactive by the end of the season. Like after our zone two fight and everyone saw our zone two fight, uh, we you saw we had crackhead activity. We had a shit ton of players on at all times. After that zone two fight, for some reason, everyone decided to go to sleep and not wake back up. You know what I'm saying? They logged off and didn't log back in. Yeah. And that... Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, after that, it it slowly became like it, it was like a slow bleed. You know what I mean? Like by the end of the season, it just got worse and worse and worse to the point where I personally saw that server 23 wasn't salvageable. Like, how do you expect me to kick out 20 billion of power to be able to recruit players in? And even if I zero players in the home kingdom or inactive accounts within the home kingdom, I'm not really going to damage them much because they'll only lose an X amount of percent while I lose even more troops. And I would have to zero like straight up everybody in the server to be able to get one player in. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like that sh it would be damn near impossible. So at that point I sat down with the leadership team of, you know, who was sticking around, who was active, who, who was helping at that time. And we came to a decision flat out. We came to a decision that, you know, moving is our best bet and restarting re you know restructuring from the ground up redoing our leadership team redoing our roles all that is going to be what's benefit what's most beneficial for our alliance and that's exactly what we did we moved to server 40 and that was you know a pain in the ass finding an empty server that could get us king which you know shout out to ancients for that they helped us out along that process found us the server, got it for us. And, you know, we moved here with our core group of what you see now, our 60-ish players. And we restarted, we rebuilt, we restructured our leadership, laid down the, the brick store foundation, and we're just building on top of that. And it's gonna be a slow build because we're gonna keep strict with our recruitment, keep strict uh, based on who we let in, based on activity, based on how they vibe and mesh well with, with our players, with, with us. And, you know, over time, just grow it out. Yeah, I mean, even just even just scrolling through the the roster, like there's a lot of 100 mil pluses in here in terms of like ratio to that 66. Yeah, so our average power per player, I believe, is around the 97 mil mark. We do have some small players. And again, I like I said, I don't really care about the power. Like, it's great that these players are high power and have the troops to be right. able to fight for an extended period of time right but that's not our main concern uh our main concern is your activity are you going to be on are you going to be fighting am i going to ping and 
have a response of five players or am I going to ping and have a response of like 25 players? You, you know what I mean? It, that, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, definitely. And the other, the other, the other thing that I want to bring up, and this is a little bit of a harder question. So bear with me with this question. But one of the things that people, uh, I, I see like a decent amount of people say they're like, it's all Jason's fault and like how he treats people. Uh, what what is your response to that? To those people saying that? I'm be real. You cut out. Maybe it was my internet. Repeat yourself, bro. Oh no, yeah, you're you're good. So like, there's there's been a few people who say that the reason why TFS broke was because of how you treat people. Like, I think that's a pretty uh, pretty far stretch. Even though I know you, right? I I admit you you could be hard headed sometimes, but to say that the entire thing failed because of how you treat people, I don't know. What, what what's your response to that? Uh, I'm be real. Am I a hot head? Hundred percent. Do do I yell sometimes? A thousand percent. Everybody knows that. <laughs> but everyone also knows I only yell when people do stupid shit. Uh, am I trying to work on that? Yeah. Is it going to be like a fucking drastic change overnight? One eighty? No. And people should know that. You know, if if you we do, you know, if you do fit our qualification for recruitment and you come. Everyone knows how like how I am. I don't hide it, whether it's in public hot Discord. I don't hide it, whether I'm in VC with people. I don't sugarcoat it when I'm doing Diplo talks, right? I am who I am. Uh, I own it fully. Have I been working on changing it? Yes. Has there been change already? Yes. Will there be more in the future? Also, yes. Uh, will there be moments where I might lose it and be like, yo, you're, you're fucking like being a moron right now? Also, yes. Yeah, I feel I feel like with at least with me, with like my military, my, with my military experience, like in R5, obviously it has to be a good blend. Right. But you, you definitely there's definitely times that you need to be aggressive like that. Right. Like, for example, I'm the kind of player that I don't care if I'm getting pinged 20 different times and I wake up at night. Thank God I woke up and got involved. Right. Or you have other players because I, I know that you love pinging the shit out of people. <laughs> 100%. but at the same the time yeah absolutely at the same time that's one of the things that i would say that that i like about you as an r5 is is you're just super passionate dude super fucking passionate if there's any way that i can explain it's uh like describe you as as an r5 definitely very passionate you're always fucking scheming something up dude that time when uh you ended up taking over tns was it tns it was MT. It was MT that, that you made yeah. TNS. I remember someone was like, you guys think, I'm like, bro, if, if anyone's going to cook up anything, it's fucking Jason. And then you guys end up recruiting the freaking Zartier crew and like the other people. And oh my God, that season turned into a shit show. Right. So it's like, there's always a good story going around wherever you're at, dude. <laughs> Whether it's a shit show or it's a freaking great freaking story, you know, guy, you you held number one power alliance for an entire freaking year, and you know that is not a easy thing to do, um, especially now everything with migration, do, it's crazy. Everything I do is, is always with the best interest of TFS. Like uh, all all my actions, like all my recruitment, all all like even if sometimes I'm wrong and I do something stupid, my intention was always to be good for tfs or to do something good for tfs it's it, like that, that's my main goal right I, i'm r5 of tfs i'm the king within this server and you know th that's not something i'm just gonna take and, and not work towards like right I'm, I'm trying to keep my players happy i'm trying to keep them engaged i'm trying to keep fighting going for the for everybody uh am i gonna try to win every season yeah because you know, for my players, I want what's best for my players. I want, you know, them to work on their accounts, whether it's with the extra Yagdrasil crystals uh, and, and all that and the rewards from winning. But obviously, you know, as a player, uh, people like to win. And that's going to be my goal is to, you know, continue winning, continue being on top with a balance of winning and fighting. Yeah. And everything, everything I'm going to do is going to be ultimately, in my opinion, what's going to be the for the benefit of the alliance definitely definitely um you right now 
probably have some of the most first-hand experience dealing with all this migration stuff. And I know that migration is like a big thing that kind of uh, the developers have been working on to improve, whether that's server cap, how many tickets, all that stuff, which I have zero clue about. Thank God I don't handle any of that. Sounds like an administrative nightmare. One second, Pops. Uh, what would you say to the devs uh, if they're watching, which I imagine they, they watch some of these videos, so maybe, maybe they're watching this one. What would you say would that you would like to see within that migration process that you would find very helpful. All right. With, with all due respect, devs, you suck. I straight up, this, uh, my, the migration is a nightmare. Uh, what I would ask is one, reduce the cooldown of 90 days. I feel like that's way too long, right? Especially if a season is only a rough estimate of 50 days. And if a player sees that he's not meshing well with the Alliance, that he's basically stuck not for just one season, but for two seasons. Two, the cost of migration, for the majority of players within the game, it's not feasible to spend $385 when you want to leave an alliance, right? Uh, and three, the server caps need to be worked on. I feel like $20 billion at this stage in the game is a little low, uh, especially when we have hundreds of players already breaching the 100 mil or the 150 mil mark on their accounts. So I, I think that's like a little bit of a setback. And also the, the whole thing of only like being able to stock up only three special migration tickets. I feel like that that's a little bit of a hindrance too. I feel like you should just be able to hold however many you don't use. And if you want to put a limit, make it like 10 or something. But those are my complaints of migration. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, the 385 is insane, bro. I mean, when me, me and my wife had a migrate, I, I had a, I had to spend almost a rack to move us, bro. Like that is yeah, insane, dude. dude. It's like, like they're... not everyone's gonna spend 385, and if you're not spending 385, you're and you're stuck in a kingdom that's either dead, or you got kicked out of an alliance, or you're just not like meshing well, well with the alliance. What's the player gonna do? They're gonna just fucking quit, bro. One second, pops. I'll be right there. Okay. No, yeah, for sure, and I and I mean, I get it, bro. We uh, we get it. They call it dragons. They they have a company to run. They have money to make, right? But at what point do you need to start seeing like what the entire community is telling you? Like, bro, throw us a bone here, man. Like, uh, make more pets, make something else. But the migration stuff is pretty crazy, man. Like, one thing is like, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting, uh wrecked in the field because i don't have three star skills on my pets the way these guys do but another thing is just you're full-on just stuck you don't have money to migrate you hate it where you're at like that's how a lot of people start you know quitting but not to okay. not to fully go down that rabbit hole but yeah go ahead dude if they get, <laughs> and if you get kicked out of the main alliance in your server you're not even getting alliance points anymore so you can't even get the free migration ticket so it's like you're asked you know what i'm saying like you're literally you're literally cooked yeah straight up like the only option at that point is like all right i'm gonna pick up another city builder game yeah yeah i mean i hope to to see some good improvements well jason i look forward to making some good content with you bro and playing alongside you hopefully we can get some listening on the discord comms that's something that people have been wanting a lot uh and you know obviously me being in discord comms with you before uh people like hearing your your discord comms and like how you control the feel and everything so and i'm sure people watching the channel are also excited to see uh when that time comes even the other day we were doing dragon and everyone was like oh shit they're doing dragon <laughs> so yeah, I was work for that. everyone got the frame run done i mean good shit for you guys you know it, th that was real good stuff but for sure we're gonna get you in uh you're gonna stream we'll, we'll get it set up we'll work something out for the discord comms you know what i'm saying whether it's like a little delay or something but your, your followers your subscribers can definitely you know get that what they want and uh we'll, we'll definitely make some content and it's good to fucking finally have you back here all right guys well that's gonna be it jason i appreciate your time here with us yeah, we're just about pushing the 20 minutes i know i know you're a busy guy 
you gotta you got our five things to go do and whatever else you do so <laughs> oh yeah in 20, yeah. Minutes, in 20 wow. minutes we find out who we're playing and everyone's gonna be able to see that this video is gonna go up tonight so in the comment section below let me know uh what you guys think the matchup should be with, with who tfs goes up against well guys that's gonna be it for this one and you guys will definitely get more out of me and freaking yasing gi with his freak show looking on to put a show until next time, guys, your boy Guns and Jason Geek, we out, y'all. Peace.